Tivoli Gardens, a community that is living an entirely new existence than it did before, during and immediately after the bloody 2010 incursion by the Jamaican security forces, who were executing an extradition request for admitted drug lord Christopher Dunn's coke. But while each brushstroke of white paint removes the wounds of West Kingston's bloody war, it cannot paint over the psychological scars of dependency left by its incarcerated president who is to be sentenced on Friday, March 16, 2012. Sandra Barracks, one of Tivoli's many elderly residents, recalls a more prosperous Tivoli Gardens and is asking for leniency from the judge of the New York-based United States Southern District Court. Have mercy on Percy. We need Percy. The same thing we are telling you, from Percy Gardens, there's many sufferations, many in treatment, children are going to school, we are going to West Kingston, people carry teeth. And them things that when person they are is rule and regulation and respect. And me, right now from what I forget, nigga and insulin. I'm a new person when they here. Mother get me nigga and my insulin. Mother have my right food in that I bread and butter and I don't eat. I mean it's a diabetic. And if person was here, I could have begged him and cook my pop and my rice, my brown rice. Many people are suffering from persecution. God mercy. Many did not want to show their face for fear of persecution from the police, but two residents, who wanted to remain nameless, echoed the collective call for mercy on the man they affectionately called Prezi. Why? But no one ever get a look at sentence still, you know. We know and we are look out feet, but we just have prayer. And we are praying all fast and pray for him for the sentence. No go eye as old some people want it. We just want him to get a look of time. And the look of time what we're not gonna do. We want him when he's doing time, he can come back, come back and come to him, come back and please and try to fix it back or him leave it. I would ask the judge and the jurors to be lenient on him because he's a human being. And you have to have money. When you see people in crisis and in need, you have to have money to support it. And I think they say he was doing drugs and stuff like that. I think he do it in order to get the money to take care of the people then because he see the need and he was doing what the prime ministers and many people weren't doing. I would give him 18 months, give him some time to think about what he has done and that he can think about if I should go back, what would I change that should have been changed that wasn't changed and should not be changed.